Oh, what a word for you. Toya. Just been with Leanne. Oh, I bet you have. So this Max Headroom version of Oliver on Leanne's laptop. I know it's a lot to take in. No, not really. Do you know what? I'd say it's pretty straightforward. Man exploits grieving mother with deeply weird AI version of her dead son. You're very angry, aren't you? Oh, you're very perceptive. Have you got some sort of mind coding module I can take for that? I'm silly question, of course you do. All I care about is helping Leanne. Well, why don't you leave that to the people who actually do care for her? You know, in real life? You haven't been doing a very good job so far. She wouldn't have come to us otherwise, would she? You're just a con man. You're a snake oil salesman, nothing more. It's the oldest profession in the world. Not quite the oldest. Leanne knows plenty about that, right? She tells me everything. In fact, we all tell each other everything. It's very liberating. Yeah, and more ammunition for you to keep people in line. You are such a cliche. End of the day, it's all about money, isn't it? Look, I don't have time for this. I'm due at a seminar. <sighs> Leanne's happy. Happier than she's been for some time. Well, don't you see that? I see that she's been brainwashed by you and your cronies. I see that she's under your influence, your control. As I said, she's happy. She'll lose her sister, you know, that's the most important thing. Do you know what? I'm not arguing with you anymore. Just stay away from Leanne or I'll go to the police. Feel free. The press, then. Yeah. TV, radio, anyone who'll have me, because you know what? I think your uh, voice from the grave AI kid will make one hell of a new story. We've got an injunction. Or will do very soon. You could go to prison if you breach it. If it gets my sister away from you and your creepy, manipulative clutches, I will happily walk through those gates myself. Toya? You're treading a very dangerous path here. Well, you don't know what dangerous is until you come between me and my sister. But I know you're sick of hearing me say it, but I'm worried about you. Why? The Institute, I mean, it's just taking over your life. <laughs> Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Mm, is it? The amount of time you spend there, the amount of money you spend there? Well, it's not about money. And anyway, the bistro's benefited, hasn't it? OK, yeah, 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 just forget about the money. Then. All right, what do you want me to do? Join a book club? Or yoga lessons? Or shall I join a gym, do four classes a week? Cos that takes your time and money as well. You're talking to a computer-generated image like it's Oliver. You're saying I love you to a computer screen. Don't you think I should be a bit worried? All right, I know it's not Oliver. I know it's not real. I haven't completely lost my mind. It's, it's no different to a therapist asking you to write a letter to a loved one or talking to them out loud or dreaming about them. Is that weird too? You need to delete that aberration from your laptop. What's up? I've just been with your dear exalted leader. Oh, he's not the leader, that's Willow. Oh, whatever, whatever. I don't care what he is, OK? He's brainwashing you. He's controlling you. OK, just calm down, Tom. No, do you know what, Nick? I won't calm down because if you could have seen his smug face... Oh, he had all the answers, but then he would, wouldn't he? He's obviously done this plenty of times before. You are nothing but a mark to him, Leanne. You of all people. Look, Lee, I feel like I'm losing you, OK? And it is breaking Toya, my heart hey. to see it. Will you... Will you please just listen to me? Uh, Toya? Toya Habib? Yeah? I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Can't this wait? You know I'm in the middle of a seminar. And I'm sorry, but I need to know, and I need you to be completely honest with me. I'm guessing you didn't mean to disrespect me just then. Look, we have always been completely straight with each other, but I need to hear you say it. Did you report Toya to the police for hiding a baby's birth? Because I know that you had a run-in with her. No, she accused me of brainwashing you and betraying Oliver's memory. Yeah, which is why I would understand if you snapped and you'd want to get your own back. Not my style. Even if I had the time, I had to come straight here and prep for this seminar. Yeah, but the thing is, the only people who knew about the baby were me, you and Nick. You're forgetting about those people digging in the park? The ones she attacked with a shovel? If that didn't raise suspicion, I don't know what would. Everything you and I talk about stays in strictest confidence. Even a possible crime? Privacy's sacred. Without it, where's the trust? Leanne. 
Hey. You do believe me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. Did you check my name before you hauled me in, Detective? Did it cross your mind that I might be a victim? I did check. 13th of April, 2001, I was raped by a mate. Now, some people might think it's not as bad if it's someone you know, but let me tell you. He jumped me in an alleyway and raped me. And then carried on pretending to be my friend. And I had all the examinations and the talks about HIV and I pulled myself together because I was a survivor and I wasn't going to let him win. So I went back to work, plastered a smile on and listened to me mum and stepdad bicker in. I had no idea there was a baby growing inside me. Sorry, you had to go through that, Toya. Are you? I am. But we've still got a job to do. Uh, for Rose's sake and everything you told me... What? Um, what? Makes me sound more guilty. Gives you a stronger motive to get rid of your baby. Did I conceal a child's birth? Yes. Toya. What I did. It's not as simple as saying you concealed it. We need to know why. Was Rose really still born, like you say? Or did you let her die? Or were you covering up something worse? Did you deliberately kill her?